So, hello friends, today I'm going to show you how to make a general service on this fantastic Nikkor 50mm 1.8 uh, I think uh, everything I will show here uh, apply also to the uh, Nikkor 50mm 1.8D uh, I'm pretty sure the construction is almost the same which just a few exceptions on the connection part uh, besides that I think everything is the same Mm. otherwise uh, we'll start just disassembling the lens but before that uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet and then uh, a thumbs up if you like what you see here in the video uh, okay so uh, we're going to do this in uh, the simple way this lens I already opened and fixed it uh, it was grinding a lot so uh, I will repeat that as it was going to fix the lens so and then to do so uh, we can do uh, two things we can uh, start by removing and opening the optical assembly as if you were going to uh, clean some dust into the lens and then this is done uh, quite easily if I find my tools so I take uh, these rubber cones and there is a link in the description if you, if you want to buy a set too so and then uh, I put it here and then I just force here a bit and then I'm able to remove uh, this front ring which is just a plastic cover which shall come out okay you see it's just a cover and then uh, you access a few things into the lens then uh, one thing and you can do here is uh, in the case you have uh, like dust and other things inside the, the optical assembly so you can open this and then you can simply take off uh, the front element here uh, and then uh, if you have dirt on the back you can yeah you see you have access the butt elements uh, the main elements into the lens so uh, you can simply blow here and here and then uh, you have removed dust and other things nasty things if any into the lens and then uh, the other thing you can do if for example you have oily blades uh, I don't have here so I don't going to disassemble the lens uh, for that you can uh, remove um, this aperture ring here so you remove the spring uh, and then uh, you can take this off and then you can remove the, the lefts for cleaning uh, if for example you have uh, oil into the repair to blades um, I have a video of that is on the Nikkor uh, 35mm f2 but then the construction is uh, I think is pretty much the same so you can follow the video and um, I will add a link to the video uh, if you want to do that then uh, the other thing which is missing is um, let's say as if what my it was my case uh, I have the heli coil which is a bit dirty and then it is grinding okay I forgot probably to tell you something here you can also do some cleaning and when I uh, opened the lens I did a lot of cleaning here it was very dirty okay so uh, I will put the main assembly here uh, because now we're going to open the lens from the back and then we're going to remove uh, the complete optical block and then to do so uh, it's not very complicated actually the lens and then remove uh, the back obviously. So 
so here this is the part uh, when there might be a difference with the AFD version and then uh, here uh, when I disassemble uh, the lenses I actually need to remove this black part so if you have the D version you will need to remove this and then um, principally this screw here to release the connector block from the bayonet on a AF version uh, without the D this is not necessary because uh, the D means um, the lens is given to the camera uh, the information about the focusing distance and then uh, this is done by reading an encoder which is in the body of the lens and then there is just a ribbon cable to send information from the encoder to the connection block and then to the camera so it, since it is a AF version all the electronics are here as you can see so there is no need uh, to uh, remove them so I remove the complete bayonet then I want to uh, disassemble this so I take off the aperture ring I can remove the focusing gear then I take this which is the help for the aperture lever uh, when I move the aperture ring you will see that uh, in the assembly and then just to remove the helicoil and I just need to remove these two bars here and then uh, there is one important thing that I have to make sure is just to remember uh, about the height I have here so when I reassemble the lens uh, I, will, I will have the focus at infinity uh, well this can obviously be calibrated but then there is quite some work to it and then okay let me just remove these screws before and then uh, we can proceed uh, to uh, okay so these uh, elements I am removing right now these are blocking the rotation of the optical block with respect to the helicoil uh, in the body here that you will see just now uh, how, you see now uh, everything I have the I am moving the the focusing ring here and then um, since uh, the optical block is not blocked anymore is moving with it and then uh, what, there is a relative rotation here between the helicoil and and the linear and the and the blocking part and then this is creating the linear motion of the optical block uh, okay so now I'm going to remove that so here it is very 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 important just to remember the point where uh, the lens is going to leave um, uh, the helicoil because uh, otherwise you will suffer a bit uh, just uh, when assembling the lens and then okay somewhere about here so I will take this uh, this part here I will mark it about here and then I will have to do anyway some trial and some error and uh, just to make sure uh, I am in right position so this is it for the disassembly as I showed you before we can separate these elements to do some uh, local operations on them uh, we just blew the lens before so there is no need here uh, you can uh, still uh, disassemble these parts here so you can remove these screws and then you are able to remove uh, the focusing ring uh, I'm not gonna do it because uh, I don't need to I can access uh, what I wanted to clean uh, just from here uh, and then uh, well I already did the clean before but then uh, the thing is rather easy to to do starting from here I, I get a toothbrush this is what I did before I just remove uh, all the dust 
there was a lot in this lens actually so I do this on this side I do exactly the same thing uh, here we'll see after if there is some grease that is needed then uh, just to make sure that everything is clean uh, and then there is no particles you have to blow with some energy and then uh, yeah that's uh, that's for the cleaning as you saw it is extremely simple then uh, we need to reassemble the lens so and then as we saw before I have the mark I took it with respect to the infinity so I got in this is one of these rare helicoils which go in super easy and uh, usually it is not the case so you saw I put it in I got in position here so I am about the height I observed it before and then I am in the right position and then I just put the blocking keys and then I will make some comments about this part here because you have to be very 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 careful when tightening it because it can lead, lead them to some unexpected behavior on the lens put this screw here and then I will show you one trick I use so what I do is I don't tighten it entirely and then uh, what I do is just to make sure I go into position and then well, quite tight actually I think because you see if they are in like in in bad position uh, they can cause you, they can make you trouble uh, by adding some additional friction here on the linear part so uh, what I do is I let it loose then I do a motion and then what I do is just I let it come back so they are like in a, a nice relaxed position fix them okay, the focusing is nice it's not grinding anymore okay now I can go and reassemble the back of the lens so I start by putting the um, focusing gear here then I will put this aperture ring and then the indication to put this there is some slots here and there is one this uh, yeah this small plate here and then uh, this is just to make the clicking sound when uh, you put the lens when you move the aperture uh, ring so you see it is in position here and uh, then uh, I put this part there is uh, one indication is this uh, tip here which goes into the slot so this is not uh, very complicated to assembly then we put back the bayonet and then one so the indication to put the bayonet in the right position is the gear uh, position here and then the this bar for the aperture lever so and put it here now we'll put the screws we're not going to tight immediately everything because usually you need to perform some motions uh, 
of the aperture ring and lever so everything goes into their, its natural position got in position you see now I can proceed to tighten the bayonet screws then let me put the back we should not have problem with the focusing at infinity since we didn't, we didn't move the uh, focusing ring uh, but and this can be done too uh, but then it needs some uh, it's not even skill it's just patience just to make sure that the calibration is uh, done properly okay Up. So it entered it in a bizarre way, but uh, okay. So this is it. This is how uh, you do a general service on a Nikkor a 50 millimeters 1.8. So thanks for watching and uh, see you next time. Huh?